Hello and welcome to The Basics, a multiboxing story. Uh, today we are going to head back to Najina, but uh, first we are going to create a fellowship. Uh, I meant to do this a uh, few episodes ago, but I did not. Uh, so uh, to create a fellowship, pretty much what you do is you hit... Uh, <laughs> got to turn the UI on, right? <laughs> there we go. Uh, it's like Control alt f yeah, Control shift f will open up the fellowship window. And you can see here I have uh, all my characters in there. So what you would do is you click create and then invite them. I didn't want to have to go through and click everything that way. You can also go talk to this guy, I believe. Pulls up the exact same window. You can also turn on XP sharing and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know if there's a benefit to sharing at this level or not, but... Uh, it is uh, something you can do. And uh, now you can sort these, so you can kind of see your characters. You can add up to 12 characters, so two groups inside of a fellowship. Maybe maybe it's like two groups and... Yeah, I think it's two groups. Um, but a fellowship is really cool because you can create a campfire and uh, kind of uh, teleport to that campfire. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to buy this uh, Fellowship Insignia. It's free. This is the teleport item we would, will be using to teleport to the Fellowship. And we don't I don't believe we need to buy this uh, Campfire Materials. It's a thousand platinum. We don't have that. Uh, but I think we're good with just buying the Insignia. So I'm going to buy it on every single character. And if you have, uh, if you have the latest expansion... I'll show it on this character right here. If you have the latest expansion, go to Key Rings, Teleportation. So if you have like slots, right, you can buy it separate from the shop. But uh, you drag it in there and you pop it there and you don't have to waste inventory sp space for it. So very cool. All right, so let's just get this on everybody. And so this will allow us to uh, place a campfire down and teleport back to it. Uh, preventing a lot of, uh, <laughs> and there was the, uh, an episode or two ago when we died in Gina, we had to run back. Uh, this campfire will allow us to kind of just like save a little time until we're back. Uh, it's good for getting all carrier, all your characters in the same location. You have to have uh, three, uh, fellowship members in the same, uh, in the same, uh, location. So they have to be, I think it's like 20 yards of each other. It's a really small area to actually uh, be able to uh, to do that, to get them to uh, all come to the same spot. Let's get everybody back on follow. <laughs> They're doing their own thing, I guess. All right, let's get them out here. All right, everybody made it through the door. I think I got everybody their, uh, their thing, but it, we should be fine. So what we're going to do today is uh, head back to Najina and uh, do that zone. So I'm going to actually cut out the running there. Uh, I'm going to try to trim up some of the uh, the things we've already done, right? Like if we've already run to a place, I'm not going to show it twice. Uh, it just adds a lot of extra time to the video. So we're going to get to Najina and go from there. Okay, so we're outside of Najina here. So what we do is we open up the campfire, um, not campfire, the fellowship win window, which is Control Shift F again. We click on camp, we click refresh, and we create a basic camp. We're just going to pop it down right here. There we go. We have a campfire, and uh, we can click this uh, item right here to teleport back at any time. There's a, I think, a 15 minute cooldown uh, between usage, but uh, there we go. So let's go ahead and zone inside. All right, we're all zoned in, and I wanted to show something real quick. I did uh, set up some buff macros. They're pretty basic. They just target the person and then cast the buffs. So they're uh, fairly simple. I did it on pretty much everybody. Like, uh, like here's a haste one. I just click it, targets uh, the tank. It fizzles, it doesn't handle that, uh, obviously, because, you know, we can't handle any of that in game, but. Uh, Definitely uh, see we already rehasted her and then it sits back down So kind of a little bit of a way to speed up the process like I can hit it again I can go over here and I can tell her to do that and I can just I know that when I click this it's eventually just gonna always work right because uh, I Won't be fizzling every 
every spell eventually. So just a little bit of a little thing I set up there, and they're all pretty much basic, right? This one is just cast five and then tries again to cast five, which is the pet buff for uh, Beast Lords. All right, we got everything set. Let's go ahead and uh, get them going here. All right, so we got a lot of new spells, as you can see. Uh, they just totally destroyed that. Let's get them all following. We're just going to kind of crawl through here. Um, there is a level 51 mage here, so there could be uh, some things that are dead that uh, we might have to uh, kind of go around. I think they're camping probably the epic stuff, I would guess. I've noticed this guild here is... Uh, doing a lot of uh a lot of epic stuff around the world as I play all these different characters so there we go we'll just leave this junk on the corpses as we go and uh, our wizard did not follow for some reason so let's go ahead and just manually move him up to us and figure out what he is he is like lagged or something did you see that he started casting there all right, everybody's following. All right, perfect. I'm going to have to change his macro. Uh, I ha the, the way I have it set right now, he's uh, he is uh, trying to cast over and over a certain way. So we're going to change that real quick. Uh, now that he's like pretty much just like destroying mobs, right? It doesn't matter as much. All right, so let's get rid of all of this. Uh, since we're not doing different spells in here, we're just going to do that. We'll just leave it like so. That should resolve him. And let's look at her assist. Let's cast one. Stand. That should be fine. And then the mage, did I do the same thing on her? Yes, I did. So let's do this like so just to speed their macros up a little bit leave on corpse and let's keep going now these are all uh pretty much gray i think at this point i guess there's one blue so uh they're just gonna get melted by uh <laughs> they, they killed that one uh all the all the casters and stuff all right um Let's go this way. And the, the pets are going to be uh, strong at this point. As you can see, they're... I think it's the wizard, actually. Let's click on him real quick. Spell damage. Yeah, he's hitting pretty hard. Let's go ahead and get him. There we go. Some Whore's Bane. We're just kind of getting everybody through the area. Try to get back to where we were uh, last, last episode. Which was uh, right around here. Try to get down there and kill Bonecracker, I think, is who uh, we want to kill. Looks like we got some more aggro here. We might have to do some metting here in a second. Yeah, the, the wizard is out of mana. So we'll met up here in a quick second. Yeah, now the mage is now the mage is taking care of business. All right, so we want to go. Let's turn on height filter. We're gonna go this way first. Okay, let's get them over just a little bit more. Turn off follow. Get them all sitting. All right. So there should be the uh, few skeletons in this room. There we go. Three, I guess, mobs. We're gonna get that ogre guard since he is uh 
He's the higher level one. And we're going to go ahead and uh, do this. I need to get pet attack on two for the uh, pet colossus. Just to... Uh, so I can attack without having to uh, cast spells. That's something I'm limited on right now. And I'm using a water elemental. I think I mentioned that in the... Uh, uh, spell setup video. Let's get the beast lord over here. See if she'll do a little damage. It's junk. Alright, perfect. And there we go. We're already fully healed. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, let me check. Do you have clarity? of breeze okay so i did set up hotkeys for clarity and all that stuff so i can easily uh get them all rebuffed and stuff like that all right so is there anything this way this guy yeah let's get him We're going to get two of those. Looks like the wizard might have a little bit of mana for this. There we go. Awesome. I don't know where the other one went. Uh, that's concerning, I guess. Let's look at the map here, see what we got. So we're going to go in and go down to uh, Bonecracker, get the dull key. I think we need that one. We have the guard's key ring, which lets us out of uh, the cells that you fall into. I don't remember where they are. I think it's maybe down here. Uh, so we're going to go get the dull key ring. And then I think we need it to go down here to this one to get the bloodstained key. We also need the shining key, which drops off the guard captain, which I believe is also down there. Yeah, it looks like it's down there too, so. It's been a while since I've been here. Let's go ahead and uh, move forward. And only one character got stuck. They're all, they're all in third person mode, so I can't see their screens as easily. Well, let's get them, uh, let's get them like right here. Turn off follow. But we're just going to kind of crawl through the dungeon. Our goal is to get 20 uh, in this episode, so that's the kind of, that's the direction I'm heading with this. And uh, hopefully we can get 20 here pretty easily. All right, right here. Trying to remember this one. Let's look at the map real quick before we uh destroyed. All right, it's that one right there. That'll give us uh, if Bonecracker is up. So let's kind of... There he is. He's still red, which uh, kind of worries me. The whole room is red, actually. I'm afraid that might actually get us murdered. What do we got in here? Oh, we got a guard. Let's get him up here. He's yellow. Oh, we got a bunch. And if we do wipe, we we can't always uh, get back really easy using the campfire, so that's beneficial to us. Let's move you down a little closer, see if we can get a little melee DPS out of you. 
Oh, it looks like we leveled up and it lags for some reason. I have no idea. It's like the uh, Enchanter, the Beast Lord, all leveled up. Yeah. It looks like somebody else leveled up. Haberdash leveled up. And the Cleric leveled up. There we go. And I think, yeah, I'm almost about to level up. So let me go ahead and get them betting again. Let's keep pulling. I, we might be able to take this room. I, I'm i just concerned. So we're going to wait just a second now. We want to get down here to the captain. Uh, that's kind of where we'd like to go. Trasdeon is back that way. Might go that way too. Let's, uh, let's actually get them. I don't like them kind of being alone up here. All right, everybody is following. Perfect. Haberdash needs mana. So the tricky part is this: there's a lot of windy caves in this little area, right? Well, little, little twists and turns, small corridors and stuff like that. And once we get shrink, the uh, will be a little easier to manage some of this stuff. All right, everybody should be. Everybody should be able to come in. There we go. All the pets are doing their job. And holding aggro is going to be a little difficult at first, but. Uh, not too difficult. There we go. And we got uh, some more of that. All right, what do we got here? We got an officer who's red. 23. Let's go this way. Let's get the skeleton right here. These skeletons are kind of hard to see, but uh, it's not that bad. Auto follow off. Get them sitting. All right, everybody completed a bone to pick with you, which is a bane strike uh, achievement. So we got uh, elementals in here. It's like, and then a guy up, guy up there, who's red and named. So let's try this. All right, we're gonna burn this one down. All right, burn her down. Go ahead and get a heal on me. Uh, just send all that to Haberdash for now, deal with it later. All right, that's junk. Let's go ahead and drop that. As you can see, the wizard is hitting for uh, you can't see him, but he's hitting for like 148, 148, 117. So he's just making things really easy. And if we look at the the mage, right, she's hitting pretty good too. Uh, just varies a little bit. And I don't think I have the enchanter doing anything at the moment. Uh, let's change... Let's make her a nuke button real quick while we're, we need mana anyway, right? On the wizard, he is like really low, so let's go ahead and do that. So we go here to, uh, where do I have this nuke button? Spam. Let's call it bug. Use the bug macro, so this will be spam two. So this will be assist main. We're going to put a uh, pause. Five on that, and then we're going to cast Chaotic Feedback, which only does 32 damage. It's probably not even worth the effort, honestly. Uh, that is a two-second cast, so we're going to pause for, say, 30, and then cast four. There we go. 
And then let's get everybody sitting back down. So they can met up. Did we, did we get a better heal for him? No, we didn't. All right, so that's good. And then at level 20, I am going to claim... Um, I already claimed it on a different character, but I am going to take their the mounts. So these characters all have mounts. I have, uh, I'm not going to buy new ones, but I have all of the uh, TOL expansion mounts on all these characters. So I'm just going to take it from the other ones. I don't play them anymore. <laughs> so it's, it's just going to be better off there. But I'm going to met up and then we'll uh, kill that named. All right, Haberdash is full. So I don't know what we're going to be dealing with here, but let's go ahead and grab him. Disease Cloud, which was resisted, so this might be, uh, might be chaotic here. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to Disease Cloud him again, while spamming, uh, nukes. There we go, yeah. Taunt him, I'm gonna turn around. Disease Cloud again. Is that wolf attacking? Yeah, he is. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see here. Disease Cloud, I guess, again? <laughs> Jeez. There we go. And then... Uh, Haberdash needs a heal. There we go. Got no loot, though. It was rare, but no loot. I don't remember the loot tables in this zone. Uh, it's one of those things, right? And we got an officer up here. Let's go ahead and uh, him while we can. There we go. Go ahead and uh, try to get Disease Cloud on him. That's our best uh, taunt at the moment. Come on. There we go. Trying to get him uh, healing. A little bit of lag on the uh, targeting, I think. Especially because he's doing so much damage. Come on, there we go. Scream of hate, maybe. Nothing. Um, let me do a five. See if that helps. There we go. Tashed. Scream of hate should be magic based. No, <laughs> we're not getting the uh, not getting the aggro that we would uh, we would like to see. That's fine. There we go. That one is down. So those are going to be a little bit difficult. And uh, we're going to have to actually think about those. All right. And it looks like the cleric is low on mana now. So we're going to have to met up again. All right. So we killed that named. Uh, we need this key. That's really where we need to go now. We need this key also. But uh, uh, it looks like the... Can we turn? Yeah, there we go. It looks like there was a, uh, not sure where it was. If it was this room or over here, there was a placeholder. So we're going to maybe go that way around. Try to get into this room where the name is. Try it that way. Oh, got a guard right here on our back. And I need to be getting this, uh, Beast Lord doing some work. All right, let's uh, see here. Still need a little bit more mana. So I'm going to met up and we'll go a little bit deeper in. 
All right, let's keep exploring here. Where are we at? Uh, we're going to go, yeah, we're going to go this way. So let's make sure everybody's following. And this will get a lot easier once we have shrink and stuff like that. Uh, we just don't have that yet. Oh, there's a yellow right here. Oh, geez, there's three mobs in here I didn't even see. Everybody looks to be in the general area. So let's just burn these down. As you can see, the like 50% of his health just dropped because of the wizard. Um, definitely a, a fun class early on. You can just see the uh, <laughs> mobs melting. Plus, uh, the Beast Lord pet has a proc on him. Um, that does some kind of uh, lightning damage, I believe. There we go. That was easy. Was actually able to hold aggro on all of that. Let's make sure there's no traps in here. All right, let's drop them off here. There's an officer. There's a three. It's a three pull. All right, let's make a tweak. Let's move. Let's move three right there for right now. So we're going to try to mez, uh, try to mez some of these ogres if we can. There's an officer. All right, we want this officer, I guess. Oh my god. So we're going to dot him, hit eight. There we go. She's just fizzling. That's unfortunate. Nine. Let's see if we can get the other one. And get the other one again, I guess. Like it's one of those tricky situations, I guess. Everybody's mezzed. Uh, what I'm also going to do later on when, when we don't fizzle spells constantly is I'm going to set up uh, shift commands to kind of uh, make it so that we can hit shift 8, which is our mez, our mez the first one, right? So shift 8 would actually slow that one and kind of set up kind of macros like that so we can have the enchanter slowing stuff while we uh while we're killing it so she kind of works independently some lag or something there all right well haberdash took some hits i didn't notice uh, that's gonna be something we're gonna have to pay a little bit more attention to long term i think we can check this next room I think it's gonna be ready all right so if I remember right there is a one officer the guard captain and then another officer in this next room so it's gonna be a three pull and they're all gonna be uh, they're all gonna be rough so let's move up a little bit Alright, they need, uh, the wizard needs mana. And I bought... I could have swore, yeah, I bought the mage pet. I'm not going to switch mage pets right now. I thought I bought something else. Guess not. Someone I thought I had an extra spell, but it's just the mage pet. So if she loses her mage pet, we'll, uh... We'll resummon as a, uh... Uh, was that air elemental, I think is what I bought. So let's go ahead and swap that out real quick while we're waiting on mana. Yeah. The Aeromental is, uh, I like it a lot because it, uh, it 
has a stun, so it's uh, a little bit nice in that regard. All right, let's do some uh, rehasting. Looks like we need to rebuff a lot of stuff, so let's go ahead and do that real quick while we're going on. Yeah, clarity on everybody. Make this as easy as possible. But as you can see, I need to spend uh, I need to spend a little time <laughs> casting uh, casting spells to uh, get all their spells up to the uh, the proper rank. Yeah, it looks like she failed to cast damage shield. There we go. And looks like everybody has clarity at this point. Just missing, uh, they're missing some other spells. All right. This is one of the roamers. Good thing we killed him now. Let's get you positioned right here. Manually get some healing going on here. Wait, I want to get uh, I want full mana on everybody before I make this three pull. Cause it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty hard. So I'm gonna met up real quick and we'll go from there. All right, let's do this. So what I'm gonna do to make this a little easier is I'm gonna harm touch this guy, uh, to kind of just get the aggro and get him down a little bit first right and then uh try to slow him i don't think we're going to be able to mez them but we'll try and that harm touch did not do anything at all really so let's see if she can mez anybody Let's get our first heal. Alright, Cleric's taking damage now. Oh, this is bad. Uh, six. Since he's red, it's it's just extra hard. This might be a wipe. I need to switch to uh, healing the cleric. There we go. He got his heal off. I think one of these is gonna die. Oh, the cleric died. Oh man, um, this is all junk. So this is uh, this gonna be a situation. Yeah, no more heals. And yeah, now we got a earth elemental add. I don't know what that is. Everybody's out of mana too. All 
uh, send this to uh, me. Oh, it's a mage. All right. And I don't think I have any of those bags. Uh, I need to get some tokens of res resurrection is what I need. So did she say something to us? She damage shield us. All right, so I believe I have a cleric mercenary, so we can China cheese this, right? So if we uh, disband you. Go back to you. And, oh God. Now we're gonna respawn in here. This is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna chain life tap. No, nope, got an ad. Taunt, um, eight. This is bad. Nine. Oh, that enchanter is not uh working. <laughs> Eight. There we go. She's working now. I gotta hit it more than once. There we go. Come on. Need to uh all right, let's disband you. Oh, she's giving me uh keys. She gave me keys, okay. Oh, uh, oh god, we're dead. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to get my mercenary to res my uh my uh yeah that's gone all right let's get somebody else here haberdash let's get pet on that. is becoming an absolute shit show. All right, there we go. So, can I get you a mercenary? Where is the damn mercenary tab? To there it is, mercenaries. Ah, uh, you have a tank. Okay, of course you do. You have a tank. So having a mercenary is uh, beneficial because you can. Uh, can uh, use it to resurrect your characters. But of course I have tanks on all of them. How much I can do there. So what we're doing is just re uh, go back to plane of knowledge on these guys. And then uh, we're gonna use the fellowship on these guys. To get them outside of the zone. Oh god, another one. Uh, can I... I can't use that while in combat. Uh, let's just burn this one down. Let's 
going to take me a second to get them out. There we go. Jeez. That was painful. All right. Let's get this guy. I have to be resting to use that. All right. Let me get this cleaned up and then we'll, <laughs> we'll start again. All right, for the sake of simplicity here, I'm going to use Expedient Recovery. Expedient Recovery is a AA Veteran Award, uh, which pretty much summons all your corpses and resurrects them. Just to clean this up a little bit quicker, I'm going to use this. It has a really long uh, reuse time, uh, 164 hours or 122 hours, whatever. Uh, but it, re it just resurrects us like that. Pretty simple. And then I'm just going to click the campfire uh, fellowship item and go back there. All right, so I'm going to buff up and head back in. Uh, that guy gave us all these keys and stuff, uh, but we're going to kind of get the keys again. I didn't want to not accept them just because it might uh he might think we're bots or something and i don't want to i didn't want to take that risk of like, offending him if that makes any kind of sense to anybody out there so we have them uh could probably get rid of get rid of uh ones we don't need but i'll figure that out in a bit so i'm gonna buff up and we go from there all right, we're back inside. Let's keep going. Uh, so just kind of just buffed up a little bit. Not as much as before. Uh, I didn't bother buffing everybody else. Just didn't seem to be <laughs> as uh, important. Come on. There we go. That's burnout. As the uh, pet buff, I just want to get a damage shield on... Our tank that's not going to wear off in a second. And everything uh, at this point is... Uh, is going to be gray at these these early mobs. I don't know if they're going to attack. Yep. Uh, but we should be able to kill them in... Almost one hit. Crude Defiant Plate Gauntlets. Uh, we already have those. Cloth shirt. Yeah, there we go. So it's, you know, it's it it, it is challenging, right? It's not you're not gonna walk in <laughs> some of this stuff and just absolutely win. Uh, you might, you know, I'm not the best, but uh, you know, sometimes, especially with these caster groups, uh, since it is a pure caster group, right? Like, we're not. Uh, like a melee group would probably be able to hit and stuff, you know, like hit the mob at least. Or as a caster group, they get, they're not really, they don't have much to do if they get resisted. All right, so we did get the guard captain key. Uh, so we're going to go get, we need bone cracker, but we need to get a little, probably level 20 before we can even attempt him uh, since he has red guard so we're, I think we're gonna come up here to this uh, front area uh, past these skeletons and kill those uh, elementals I think that was a, a real good spot on corpse because I think those were all in the uh, easily to kill range there's Okay, I didn't even see that guy. But yeah, so the elementals are starting to turn green, which isn't too bad. With the uh, the way the bonus experience works here. And as you can see, we're just melting these things. Oh my, wait, wow, we're 17? <laughs> Jeez, I didn't, even, I didn't even realize we hit 17. Uh, so, is the whole group, uh, the whole group is 17. That's phenomenal. So. 
I guess we leveled up somewhere in there. Um, let's go down this way. I can't remember what we got over here. Uh, tentacle terrors. These things were annoying to fight. So we're going to ignore those right now. We're going to come right back. I think right in here. This is where we're going to park. Everybody can... Yeah, there's two mobs in here, so that's not that bad. And as you can see, they just absolutely disintegrate. I'm gonna go ahead and broadcast off not to follow. Uh, let's go ahead and send the bronze. I just realized we're gonna want money. <laughs> we're gonna want money, and I'm, I keep... Uh... That's what the problem was. I was broadcasting everything. Let's get you back over here. Why is that mom not following? Oh, the enchanter pet. Can they attack through that wall? Looks like it. All right, perfect. Alright, so let's just keep uh, going here. So we got uh, this way here. I think there was some mobs this way. Yeah, some greater skeleton. And that guy, where is the way out of here? Three of them. So these are a blue and even con. So there's, there are a lot of mobs here, right? A lot of undead, a lot of summoned. Which is kind of unique, right? Not very many places you can find that many uh, variations of mobs. Right. Come on. So I'm, I'm guessing they're leveling up. Yeah, uh, Haberdash. So, Mage, Wizard... And Enchanter and Beast Lord all hit 18. It's a crude to find cloth. So, like the since they're all casters, right? They're not they're gaining levels, but they're not really gaining power as much since their power is all dependent on spells. Let's get these guys here. Three more. Uh, this should level me up, I guess, right? I guess I'm at 80%. There we go. And all these, uh, the, the pets are really, uh, I think they're really doing a good job. Next, uh, next death on the, <laughs> the Enchanter one will, uh, uh, Tome of Mastery of Wind. I believe this is a mage item, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that to her. We can feel it, figure it out later. I don't have my, uh, I don't have my document open with all my, uh, Items I need to loot while I'm in here. <laughs> oh, so they're yellow now. He's still red, though. And I believe he is a uh, pretty beefy. Necromancer. Alright, I'm not seeing anything we can easily pull without getting like a massive train up here. So let's, uh, what was that other way? Uh, 
I don't remember. I think it's through the other door. Let's go check up here. You should be sitting, buddy. There we go. Oh, there's a skeleton. Oh god, the thing's red. Right. Let's burn this uh, blue one down first. Come on. Uh, start healing Haberdash. I cannot pull aggro on this thing for the life of me. <laughs> it's pretty crazy how much damage you... I can just see on his screen it's 171, 171. See if a disease cloud will help me out. I'll get some more aggro here. I need a uh, concussion on the wizard. There we go. A bronze dagger, might as well. So we hit 18, so that means everybody else is 18 except for the cleric. Who is not 18, so. Doing pretty fine there. Get him. Get a heal on the Zerd. There we go. So we just need to find a mob we can kill real quick. Like, I want to kill that guy, but I'm, I'm afraid he's going to aggro that whole, uh, whole bunch. Is there anything else in this room? No. So we should get some back spawn here in a second. So I'll wait for those unless this mage killed them. Right, we got back spawn. All right, so they need the uh, torch, broom, and shovel. I'll make sure I, uh, if I see those again, I'll uh, definitely help them out. All right, we need a uh, damage shield. I think these mobs out here are going to uh, repop. Yes, they are. Perfect. It's a nice fast spawn time. Uh, this video is going to be a little longer. I'll try to cut out what I can, but uh, definitely uh, nice spawn times here. Oh, we got some simple defiant boots, so we'll go ahead and take those. That'll make us a little beefier. Alright, while well, we're waiting for a second here, so we had uh, cobalt boots on. Can... Uh, Swap to these. That should be a mob right here, right? I guess uh, that, that mage killed it. I think it 
it's this room here. Oh, jeez. It's pretty hard. I was just, I just saw that sword in that guy's hand, right? And I was thinking immediately thought about uh, Befallen. And uh, that might be fun to go there. <laughs> oh, we got two of them. All right, let's get these guys down. They're blue. Shouldn't be too much for trouble. I like that uh, this is the bronze two-handed. I like the way those old old uh, two-handers look. A very simple uh, two-handed look. They changed them all at some point to not look as simple, but uh, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed that uh, that look. I wish uh, the sip was not a toggle. I wish it was an actual command. So you could do like slash sit and they sat or they didn't do anything. Uh, that's really the way that should work. All right, there's nothing down here. I'm assuming they're killing, killing everything. So that's kind of hampering our, uh, our leveling a little bit. All right, we got a few more. Oh, the greater skeletons are uh, gray now. Leave that on corpse. I'd like to get a uh, an actual defiant two-hander. I think that would be uh, kind of where we want to go. I'm going to try to do two-handed as much as I can on this guy. One of the things I, uh, I didn't do on my uh, my other Shadow Knight, I didn't really do that much uh, two-hand on him at all, truth be told, until uh, like 120. And uh, the DPS difference is quite, quite significant, but you do lose out on the protection, right? When you put on a shield, you get an extra uh, uh, buff that really uh, increases your defense. So... Something to, to consider, but when you're fighting like these trash mobs, like, you know, like these and stuff like that, two-hand is just way better. I, at this point, I, I only switch when I play, if I, if, when I play that character, I only switch when, uh, I need, uh, the extra defense. So let's go look down here again. There's a lot of uh, a lot of mobs to kill. There's just red mobs in between them, <laughs> so that makes it makes it a little challenging. I mean, we could come back down here, but it was you know pretty difficult for us at that point. She's like just standing there doing nothing. Ah, uh, let's look back this way, maybe. Yeah, that mage just like killed all those elementals. Tentacle Terror is yellow now, so let's uh let's give that another shot. Let's get get everybody round up though. Bring them out here. Yeah, I can't wait till I get Spirit of Wolf so they actually move fast and we can start kind of go into the, uh, start making it into this main area. That might be a little bit better of experience for us. All right, everybody should be full mana. So we're going to pull this, uh, Terror. I'm going to get them like right over here. Oh, jeez, look at this. What the... What the hell just happened? 
what happened? <laughs> I mean, literally, how did how did the pathing get that bad? All right, tentacle terrors, get them. Save Haberdash. Come on, come on, Hobbs. Oh, he just big boy, <laughs> big boy shot that thing. Jeez. That was crazy. All right. That was easy. That was easy. We got that. We got it. Jeez. That was, that was worrisome having, uh, those tentacle terrors since they knock you back. Right. All right. Let's get a heal on me. I'll let you met up there. I don't know if that's a safe spot or not. Let's look around here. What is this? What is this room? It's just like a room. Okay. Oh, with the mist elemental. Let's go ahead and bring that back. All right. Oh, she actually cast slow as it ran away. All right. Seems fine. So there are traps in this area, so we need to just kind of keep an eye out. Oh, that's where the mage is. Okay, we'll just leave all that. All right, let's uh, let's go back over here. Kind of good, got it going. Don't need that. All right, we got that yellow skeleton again. Beast Lord is actually mailing, so good there. All right, that's not worth killing. There's a fire elemental and an earth elemental. I think with this auto follow method might work a little bit better right now until. Uh, Till we have a better, a better dungeon. I don't. I, this is a. Uh, I mean, it's decent, right? We're we're getting. Uh, we're gonna get level twenty here for sure. I feel. Ah, uh, but uh, definitely uh, a little bit longer uh, than uh, some of the other places. I think at this point on in, in Rust, we should, we'd be like uh, probably almost. Uh, Almost 30, probably. All right, let's get them uh, off us. Set them down. Oh, that warder, like, put it in half. Jeez. So, they actually need to sit. The only annoying part until we get uh until we get mounts and uh at 20 i'll give them whatever uh mounts i have on the uh, other characters on their accounts i think we can kill him we're gonna try it we need to kill him anyway uh to get another key so let's uh I need buffs. I think everybody needs buffs at this point. It's nothing lasts very long. At 20, we're going to do the uh, 
the uh, daily quest, whatever that is, so the hot zone. Get that done, and uh, and I'm I should I should, if it's not already in the, in the if it's not in the document, I am allowing the uh, purchase of items from vendors, not from as long as it's not a player, right? Uh, because we're not going to be able to get very far in the game anyway if we can't buy uh, armor and stuff from the vendors. So we're going to probably buy uh, some defiant jewelry. Never we get enough uh, extra platinum for that. Jeez, I ran far. All right, let's send all that to Haberdash. Get everybody clarityed up again. This is only, only a lot. 28 minutes, wow. And let's get... Cleric buffs on the tank. We're going to want to do cleric buffs on... I've never seen... There's a giant black widow. I've never seen this. It's like a named or something. <laughs> Jeez. Get you cleric buffed. Let's get a damage shield going. Uh, let's go ahead and rebuff your pet. What's that? That's this one. Yeah, I really need to work on their uh, spells for a few hours, get them maxed out. There we go. Cure, do we have any cures yet? Cure, poison, there we go. Oh, it already wore off. As soon as we get full mana, we'll pull the uh, that named frog. That'll get us to level 19, I guess. Uh, it looks like we already uh, half the group is already 19, so <laughs> didn't even notice. That's good. All right, haberdash is good. So we're gonna burn. Uh, we'll burn the named frog. For sure. All right, we got three. God, it scared me. All right, let's start. Eight. Nine. Come on. Aberdash. Oh my god, there <laughs> he's he's there we go, we got him. Uh let's get this blue one first. Uh, bronze axe. Let's just send all that to Haberdash for now. Figure it out later. And then uh, we need to heal the cleric. There we go. Easy. <laughs> so much easier that time. Uh, the cleric needs to heal himself though. Perfect. And will heal me. So that should be everybody at 19 now. Perfect. 
And if we look at one of them, they're like almost 50% through that. So very nice. And Cleric needs to heal himself. All right, let's look out here. So that was down there. So that gave us uh, that key, right? So now we have... Uh, we have the guards key, the bone cracker key. That lets us pretty much we can now go over here, but that mage is over there killing everything, so that's not going to be a thing we're going to be doing right now. But uh, soon we will. Alright, so that's all respawned. Alrighty, jeez. Let's check this room in front of us. Like, uh... Yeah, there's a mob. Uh, that, if that mage wasn't here, I'd move over to the main part of the, uh... Main structure here. And then we could start working on the next, uh... The next names in this zone. Right, let's get these bronze maces. They sell for, uh, I think a few platinum each, so. That'll, that'll help us get money. Simple defiant plate gloves. We'll go ahead and take those. Uh, we're getting actually, <laughs> we're getting good luck, right? Uh, Cleric has crude defiance since he has, uh, all the stuff from the quest zone, but definitely uh, gearing the tank is the number one priority for me. As soon as uh, the tank is able to uh, be tanky enough to withstand a lot of this, it uh, just works out so much better. All right. Let's go ahead and get to the next area. Oh, this guy's got like a sword and shield. There we go. What the hell are they doing? So weird. Alright, a bunch of them out here. Uh, that mist elemental is on Stasi. Can't target it for some reason. <laughs> Can't tab target through these bars, I guess. There we go. Let's see if I can get him in here. Oh, hopefully that's a defiant shield. That'd be perfect for the cleric, maybe. All right, who needs a heal? I need a heal. Haberdash needs a heal. Simple Defiant Kite Shield, which is the Shadow Knight version. Uh, the tank version, I guess. Uh, we'll take that on us. Uh, we don't have a one-hander yet, I don't think. Actually, we might actually have one. We have a crude defiant one. So we'll have to look at those. I think it might be better to use uh, Bash anyway. Alright, let's get moving over here. Oh. Oh, let's do this anyway. met up. Alright, I'm gonna get uh, full mana on the wizard. So he is like, he does it all the way. He's doing all the damage. So uh, we'll do get full mana on him and then uh, go a little bit further. We're gonna try to get 20 this episode. So it's gonna be a significantly longer uh, than normal episodes, but uh, we'll do it.
All right, we got attacked by a uh, ogre. So that's something we're gonna have to deal with. There we go. Uh, make sure they're all off on auto follow. All right, we're gonna grab this tentacle terror and everything he comes with, which doesn't seem to be as bad as the last time. So he goes into the middle. There we go, that's fine. And while we're doing that, let's move the wizard or the enchantress spam button back on. Let's see if we can get a little bit more damage on that. All right, perfect. And then we got a large skeleton over here, which is a, just a level nine, so he is not even worth writing home to. But he aggroed the uh, other one over there. And there we go. Let's sit them down. Let's see if there's anything in here I can't remember. There's this guy. There we go. So there it's like 60%, so this is not going to take too much longer. And get attacked by low-level mobs in this area. So that's something we're going to have to uh, deal with. Maybe. It's so weird. It's like right there, and then I move, and it's right there. All right, I guess they're not coming out here. I don't know. There's like a range on uh, how far it'll come. There, I'm just going to let those pets kill it. Yeah, same thing. They don't want to come over here. Got a guard, that's nice. Alright. Now, so the mage pet is on here. We got like half, 75% of his life in like one hit from uh, the mage, or the wizard actually. All right, Ebon Forge, Damask Collar. All right, let's send that to the mage. Send that to Haberdash. Might be able to sell that. I'll like go to Haberdash actually. Haven't had as much luck on this character selling stuff, or this group anyway, selling their stuff in the bazaar as I have with uh, the monk. So it's kind of fortunate. So that's lower level. Let's grab that guy. Looks like I can run past some of these things. Perfect. And they just melted that thing. That doesn't look right. Let's see here. Fellowship. Is the Enchantress still 17? No, she's almost 20. Alright, so yeah, there's a desynchronization issue going on there between uh, the levels and those different uh, different things, so. Something to keep in mind. Alright. Uh, we're actually pretty far in here. Let's, uh... Let's go check the front area of the zone. Cause uh I think we're almost done here. I don't I don't feel like uh 
staying here beyond 20 is uh, going to be worth it. I really want to go to Soleil. And uh, try that out. After we get our next uh, spells. There, there's a blue. At this point, we'd have to be pretty much all the way down here. There we go, we got two of them. Perfect. I think that would be the only place to find uh, enough mobs to kill. And I don't think this zone really is made for uh, having a level 50 mage run around killing everything. Alright. Actually, we could probably... Eh, it'd be too much. We're going to have to clear all that. I was going to say go back and clear uh, the other side. These are... Yeah, these are... Uh, slow, so low level now. We've uh, out-leveled them all. So let's just finish up this... What? 30% of a level? Not too bad. Maybe we'll get to uh, terrors or something. That might be beneficial. Let's check down here. Yeah, we got a your skeleton. I think there's another cubby over there we can check too. And I think died so fast. Oh, there we go. Yellow. Perfect. Let's get him. All right, 72%. There we go. Very, very good. Um, yeah, all right, we got simple defiant chain legs, which uh, we could sell. So it looks like we got level 20 on the enchanter and the mage. So everybody else should level up in one or two kills. Let's check down here again. Nada. About over here. Oh, we got, got this thing here. I'm just going, oh, there we go. So we'll just send the pet on that. Oh, he's a low level two. There we go. Jeez. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Alright, I'll let the pets just kill that while I run off. But, uh, it's definitely a good spot for, uh, for 10 to, uh, 10 to 20, I'd say. If you're looking for a different kind of area to level in. I'll probably uh, probably do a, an actual uh, guide video for this place. Uh, maybe I'll do it on the higher level characters just so I don't have to <laughs> deal with all the nonsense. Maybe I'll come back with this group and uh, run the Shadow Knight through it or something. Alright, there we go. So we're at 79%. This is going to the lag indicates I think we leveled up on Haberdash and what's next? Let's 
Stasi just leveled up. Oh, we got a tentacle terror over there. That'll be that'll be it right there. We're at 87. Alright, let's kill jeez. Let's kill this thing. Disease cloud. No one's really taking that much damage, so that's really nice. There's another one. A large skeleton. Let's grab him. Just to clear his placeholder. There we go. Uh, it's trash. We got a blue elemental. Probably should have pulled these earlier just to have the placeholders killed. No. I don't think uh, the group can actually see over there. That's fine. Crude Defiant Leather Bracer. I think uh, Stasi could use another one of those. Uh, simple Defiant Chain Boots. Nice. There we go. And we're at 96%. This should be it. All right, we are 20, so we need 20% more. I don't know why the uh, the uh, the cleric is not leveling near as fast. It doesn't make sense at all, but uh, see, like XP sharing or something. No, it's grouped. Yeah, it's weird when uh, some of these characters will level up a lot faster than the others. So we got a few more pulls here. Oh, son of a bitch. All right. I can't move. Being charmed by a red mob. Well, this is a disaster. I can't even hit this guy, can I? She rooted me again and mesmerized me. Where are we at? Okay, can I? I wish I had feigned death. <laughs> Still rooted. Uh, I don't know why they would put a uh, a red mob inside this uh, this cage. All right, so there we go. We're out of here. I'm like stunned. Yeah, this is an absolute, absolute disaster here. Uh, let's heal Stasi. Almost back to them. There we go. Wish 
should be able to kill this one. Oh my god. There we go. I'm rooted, so I can't do much at the moment. Somehow my loot settings got changed. Another one down. Alright, we hit 20 on him. Let's get some heals going. Why are you not healing me? Alright, perfect. Let's get you positioned a little better. Kill this stupid halfling. <laughs> I don't care about the faction hit. Uh, let's give those to you. For some reason, I cannot. Oh, it's hitting the wrong damn button. That's why. All right. Well, that was an <laughs> exciting little uh, segue there. Uh, I believe we're all 20 now, all six of us. So perfect. Now we're going to... Let's go ahead and uh, let's get a screenshot of this place because I... I forgot to get screenshots before. And then we'll uh, head back to Plane of Knowledge, and uh, that's a perfect screenshot right there. A Gina. There we go. All right. So I think this is a good place to end this episode, right? Uh, we're done with the Gina. Uh, I don't plan on coming back here. Uh, next episode is going to be another spell update video. Uh, kind of not as many. Shouldn't take as long like the last one. Uh it should be a little bit quicker since we already pretty much have all the macros set up. We just need to set the everything else up. Um, then we're going to uh, uh, probably do whatever the daily quest is. So it's like South Karana, Podgel Caverns, or something else like that. Uh, we're we're going to run do that one uh, just to get some uh, uh, haste items for the uh, the melee and some uh, mana region for the casters but uh yeah that's our that's the plan for the next uh two episodes and the third episode will probably be soul a uh we should be around close to 25 around then so uh we'll do soul a about that and i should have a good snare at that point in time too so thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day